brand new coffee tech break with Jan. Good to see you back on my channel again. Eh? I think we got another great video for you lined up because today I want to take you through the installation, the configuration, the cabling of the Poly G9 Plus. So in the first video, eh, I did an unboxing, so I showed you exactly what is inside the box, eh, the VESA, the cabling, eh, the power supply, etc. In this video, I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks, eh, but it's really easy to set this up. But there are some things which are good to know. Eh, but as I said, we'll walk them through step by step in this video. There's one other component eh, which comes along with the G9 Plus, and that is the, the TC10. So this panel is not only used as a control panel for the Studio X devices or scheduling panel standalone on the outside. No, you can use this panel also in combination with the G9 Plus kit, eh, the brand new Teams Room PC. Ready? really nice and in this video eh, i'm gonna walk you through step by step but there is one other component which we need to set it up and that is the cut six cable 10 meters and this is the cable which we're going to be using between the touch panel and the computer and this is the dedicated computer which i showed you also in the unboxing video eh, the purple here which you got right there and we're going to hook it up directly to the TC10. Now, in case you want to hook up more TC10 panels, because that is possible now with the G9 Plus kit, then you got to use a switch in between. And then you can put the different locations in the room. You can put the control panel at the table. Really, really nice. Now, to show you how I set it all up, I enabled here an additional camera, which is pointing here to my desk. So I can really walk you step by step to the cabling, connecting it up, and also a regular jump into my demo room and to show you how the end user experience looks like. Now, let me enable this camera so you're able to see how that looks like. Here you go. So we have now additional camera enabled. So you got a little bit of a shot of the table where I'm working in. And because when I'm jumping into the demo room, you still have the visibility here and show you uh, what is uh, visible on, uh, on the touch panel when, uh, when needed. Now, what do we have here? So I got here the compute. Now we got the cable, of course, 10 meters. So we're gonna connect this up to the TC10 panel. Now what is important when you receive the kit, I will assume that the touch panel will run 6.3 or higher. That is the required version. So when you connect it up, to the PC that the PC will automatically connect during the out of box wizard, it will automatically connect to the touch panel. Now, it could be if you're going to work with multiple touch panels, eh, then you probably need to upgrade your uh, TC10 to 6.3 or higher because otherwise it will not connect. But that's only the scenario uh, when you're going to use multiple uh, TC10s, and now it's up to four. TC10 panels, which you're able to use uh, and connect through, uh, through a switch. Now, what I want to show you as a first step is assuming uh, that you have additional TC10 sets, uh, how do you upgrade it? Well, the first thing you need to do is not connect it directly to the PC because that won't give you uh, the update. No, you need to connect it to your network, to the internet, to make sure it can grab. A newer version and so this is what i'm doing right now i'm connecting the panel now here on my device so it's now connected to that what the network app and also the uh, network provides power and so you can see it's booting up now so the first thing what you will see is when the device boot up and when it is in a sort of uh, factory uh, out of box state it will check for software updates and i think this is important because you need to make sure uh, that you are on 6.3 or higher. And so it will prompt you, as you see right here, to upgrade to 6.3.2. Okay, so let's initiate that update because we got to be sure and uh, that we're running that uh, 
that latest version. So, so after around five minutes, uh, what you will see when the upgrade is ready, it will do a restart. I will disconnect that DC10 from my connection uh, to the internet. So the next step besides drinking some coffee in between, uh, and yes, I have a lot of good coffee here, is jumping into the Teams Room PC, uh, the G9 Plus PC. I'm gonna connect to the power, the network, the HDMI cable. To show you the experience, so what it will show on the screen, is I will be jumping into my demo. So let's do that right now. Here you go. So now I'm in my demo room. I got here the TV UI here at the top. And here below, you can still see uh, me connecting all the devices and show you what's going on on the touch panel. And so now let me connect it all up. So we got everything connected now. Let me show you that. And don't take the yellow one as the HDMI out there because that's the HDMI input. We got here the HDMI, which is the first one. We got the network cable connected. And you should also see some lights here coming out of the network connection. And we got the power connected. The only thing we need to do is power the device on. So there is a button at the front, on the right side. If you hold that, just for two or three seconds. So you will see here LED light at the front when it's booting up and you see it flashing. And also you see here now the Wolf security logo. Uh, so that is the BIOS uh, protection that is all starting up. So this PC is really secure and protected by, uh, by Wolf security. So if there's any tampering eh, on the BIOS, it will automatically protect it eh, or recover a previous version of the BIOS. Eh. So that's, I think, also really important one for these type of uh, PCs eh, from, uh, from the HP side. So after the Teams Room PC has been started, eh, what you'll see is it asks you to connect the TC10 controller. And as you can see, I have still the controller and the cable right over here. So I haven't connect that to the Teams Room PC yet. Uh, you can see that also here on the back, the purple is not connected yet. Uh, and don't confuse it in the back. Uh, so your LAN is really the one on the right lower side uh, and the purple one, the purple one is the one which you need to connect to the TC10 controller. And it will also provide the power. Now, as you can see, it asks you just very straightforward to connect it. Uh, so this is what I wanted to show you. It is really straightforward. So let me now connect the TC10 controller. Now there are some straps uh, with the cable and I think these are very nice to reuse and so you can actually just put the cables together with those uh, with those straps. You got two of them coming along in the package. Really nice. And as I said, yeah, it's it's everything about reusing things. Well, this is one of those things. So now I got the cable ready. So I will be connecting one end here to that special purple port, all right? And the other one, I will put that in the touch panel on the back. Here we go. And now we should see some light popping up. And so this is a really nice one because it yeah it just asks you during the out of box wizard there it just asks you to connect it. And here you go. You see already the Polo logo, so it's booting up now. Really nice. Uh, so it should be a really straightforward process so to uh, to get started with uh, the PC, the TC10 as a controller. It's just a matter of uh, as I mentioned earlier of the version 6.3 uh, or higher. And if you're gonna add multiple panels, you will need a switch instead of the direct cable. You put the switch in between and then you're able to connect uh, multiple of them. So during the out of box wizard, uh, it should be able to detect 
that it's connected to a Windows MTR. There's nothing to pair. It should all be done automatically. So let me try to show you that. Ah, here you go. Successfully connected to your Teams Room PC. It's an internal network, as you saw, a 169 address. And immediately, what you see that it is connected now. And this should be able to jump us into that uh, out of box uh, wizard of the Teams Room device. Now, as you can see, the TC10 is automatically detected uh, by the uh, Teams Room device. Uh, and it will uh, bring you now into the process of walking through that out of box wizard of Teams Room PC. And there's this is not different from any other team room PC. Uh, you just uh, got to make some decisions. So the first one is uh, yeah, the language. So I will make sure to put it to, uh, to English. The next step will bring you to any additional keyword layout. Uh, so in this case, I will choose the United States English. Do you want to add an additional layout? So this is not needed, but you can add an additional Keyword layout, we can skip that one. Then the next one will bring you to uh, getting some updates, checking for updates. So it's really straightforward, uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, out of box experience with the G9 plus Teams PC. So after a couple of reboots, uh, what you will see, I and mean, in that final process, uh, you should see the team logo, as you see right here, popping up on the screen. And also on the touch panel, let me show you that experience. It should show you at the end also the Teams UI to get started. Uh, but as long as you see that, uh, yeah, that Teams icon popping up, uh, it should all be going in the right direction. And here you go. We have now that final getting started wizard. Uh, we have that now running on the Teams Room PC on the touch panel. So I can click on get started. That will bring me to the acceptance of the EULA and to, uh, to do the login. Click on next. Now you can turn in uh, a verification code. So if you've sent a verification code uh, to this location, they can put this into the device and it will automatically sign into uh, to Teams. Uh, or on the other thing, what you can do is a manual setup. And that means if you do it manually, you can just put in here the team's uh, room account, uh, the user ID and the, uh, the password, and then you should be able to sign in the device into Microsoft Teams. Now, that process uh, is something which I show, will show you in, uh, in the next video. The only thing is I wanted to give you some tips and tricks. So how can you review the versions that are running on the touch panel or on the TC10? Now on the TC10, you have a sort of, on the side, there is a menu here. You can call it out, as you see right here. It will bring you to settings. So this will open up as a sort of, yeah, menu on the touch panel itself, but also will give you information, as you see right here, on the versions running on the touch panel and on the compute. Now there's also some other settings, some user-defined uh, settings. Uh, for example, I can change here the uh, yeah to light and to dark mode. So this is the light mode, and I can change the interface also to a dark mode. You see right here, it makes it sometimes a bit easier uh, to uh, yeah to read and to uh, to save some light in the room. So now we got dark mode. Again, we can enter the set settings. We're going on the side. We're going to settings. Here you go. And uh, so you can really review all the settings here of the touch panel and uh, find all in information. If you need to find some troubleshoot information, serial numbers, etc., I think a really, really nice one. We also got admin settings. This is to factory reset the panel. Eh? So in any case, if something went wrong, you can reset the panel. By default, the panel is using uh, admin and the password is the last six digits of serial number and then you're able to sign in to get uh, deeper in the device and then you can reset the device uh, again there's also an uh, help button so if you need to find 
some more troubleshooting information you can go to help uh, and as you also can see it will ask you to change the password and uh, it really recommends you and of course we always recommend that uh, in production environments to make sure you change the password from last six digits uh, to something that is being used in the corporate environment but yeah i think in overall if you need to troubleshoot something uh, for specific versions or for support uh, if something is uh, on the right version there's always a way to get that information. Now, if for some reason you need to get to the administration interface of the Windows 11 IoT, that is possible. Then you need to connect to the USB port. You need to connect the keyboard. So I got a keyboard hooked up here and that keyboard needs to have a Windows key. See right here. Now, if you press that keyboard five times very quickly, and uh, what you will notice then on the TC10 interface, it will bring you to the Windows interface. So now you can always break out to the Windows interface to check uh, if you need to update some specific components, if you need to enable the Lens Room app, because we got also Lens Room app, which is pre-installed on, uh, on this device, uh, but to integrate it with Lens. We need, of course, to uh, to activate that. Uh, but this is something uh, which I will do in uh, in the next uh, video. And here ends the coffee tech break session for today. Uh, part two: the installation of the G9 uh, Plus kit. Uh, so in combination with uh, with the DC10. One of the things are very important uh, is to always check the version of the panel, especially when you're going to add additional panels and uh, make sure that they're minimum at 6.3 and then it should be able to detect it by connecting uh, it through the LAN port directly or using a switch. You need to find some troubleshoot information and uh, you can always go and break out to the side menu of the TC10. There you will find a lot of uh, version info uh, and you need to factory reset factory reset it there but uh, yeah in the next video i'm gonna dive deeper into the administration interface of the g9 plus and i'm gonna show you how to sign it into lens what the possibilities in in lens uh, to manage the device of course this is just the base kit and eh? tc10 and uh, the team's room pc of course you're able to add the v32 the V52, the V72, eh? all those USB bars. Even if you got a studio USB or you got an R30, eh? you can reuse all those devices, of course, with this brand new Teams Room PC. Here ends the coffee tech break session for today. Eh? Hopefully you uh, enjoyed it. it. At least I enjoyed it. Eh? Also to, yeah, to take you through that experience because that's always a bit challenges in these type of environments uh, to bring that remotely uh, to you but hopefully you got a good impression of how easy it is to set up the, the G9 plus PC if you got any questions or comments uh, just let me know put them under the video and of course I will make sure that uh, yeah that anything which I'm talking about the installation guides and everything any reference I will make sure I will put them under the video so Thank you for watching and I'm already looking forward to see you back in the next video.